Hi, my name is Lee Granger. I'm the founder of Radium Technologies and the developer of Living Cookbook. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few of Living Cookbook's electronic cookbook capabilities. You will soon see for yourself that Living Cookbook is unlike any other recipe management software. The two most popular ways to locate a recipe in Living Cookbook are browsing and searching. Let's start by browsing for a recipe. Living Cookbook's recipes are organized into cookbooks, chapters, and subchapters. Let's expand a cookbook. And then a chapter. And then a subchapter. I should mention that Living Cookbook is the only recipe software ever developed that supports subchapters. In fact, you can add as many levels of chapters and subchapters as you like. Now let's select a recipe. Note that the entire recipe can be viewed in one place and it is formatted the same way it will print. If we scroll down a bit, we can see the rest of the recipe. Let's go back up to the top of the recipe. If we click on one of the recipe's ingredients, we see that it works exactly like a hyperlink on a web page. We are taken to the ingredient page for the ingredient that we clicked. Let's click on the back button to go back to the recipe. The back and forward buttons also work exactly like a web browser. Living Cookbook records your navigation so you can easily retrace your steps at any time. Now let's talk about recipe formatting for a minute. Living Cookbook gives you complete control over how recipes are displayed and printed. This topic is covered in more detail in other videos, so for now I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration by hiding the nutrition information and making the recipe title bold and italic. Note that the nutrition element has disappeared and the format of the recipe title has changed. Now, let's see what our recipe is going to look like when we print it. There are two ways that we can do this. The first is to view the recipe in print layout mode by selecting print layout from the view menu. Note that I have configured Living Cookbook to print on 4x6 index cards. Living Cookbook can print to any paper size or format. The second way we can see how the recipe will print is to use Print Preview. We can do this by selecting Print Preview from the File menu. Up to this point, we have just worked with a single recipe. Now I will quickly show you how easy Living Cookbook makes it to work with large numbers of recipes. Let's start with a recipe search. Let's search for some chicken recipes. The search results are displayed in the recipe list. Clicking on a recipe name will take us to the recipe. Living Cookbook's list views are extremely powerful and easily customized. For example, I can click on a column heading to sort the list by that column. I can also drag a column to change the column order, and I can add or remove columns. My favorite feature is the ability to group columns the way Microsoft Outlook does. Let's group the recipes by image flag. Now the recipes with images are all grouped together, and I can click on the minus button to collapse the group, just like in Outlook. In this brief video, we have just barely scratched the surface of Living Cookbook's capabilities. I encourage you to view some of the other videos to get a sense of how powerful and easy to use Living Cookbook really is.